A dear friend of mine said something very interesting to me the other day. She has a sister who teaches kids in the neighborhood, you know, takes tuitions. And it so happened that she reached her student's home one day to prepare him for the maths test the next day. And when she reached there, she was surprised to find him reading his history textbook. Uh, he just finished a history exam earlier in the day. And she asked him, you know, why are you reading the history textbook? And he said, Miss, uh, I couldn't find my maths textbook. Now, you might think that's kind of silly or even ridiculous, but I think we're all guilty of doing something similar in our lives. I see this happen very often with organizations, for instance. You know, a company gets determined to, to make an acquisition. They're sitting on a pile of cash. And then, because they can't make the right acquisition, they go ahead and make an acquisition anyways. Often the wrong one, and it comes back to bite them. But they feel good about the fact that at least they did something in that direction. They did an acquisition. And it's true for all of us. There are many times when we know what we need to do, but when we can't get the right thing, we then end up doing something else because being busy it feels good. At least we can tell ourselves that we are trying, we're doing something to make it happen. Not a good idea. In your life, if you find that you're working very hard at something and not getting the results you're looking for, maybe you need to hit the pause button and ask yourself the question, am I studying the history textbook for my geography examination? Think about it.